Welcome back to Teshkid Effects for another GRT price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the GRT chart which has continued with its massive bounce to the upside has also continued to obey the ADO 12 structures and also continued to hold above the 20 day MA here on the, four hour, on the daily chart and before I give you the long term scenarios and also the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video here on the daily chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that GRT from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an all time high at around the $2.9 mark in what I'm terming as the formation of that larger ADO 12 count 1 to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started this move to the lower side in what I'm terming as the formation of this higher ADO 12 count 2 to the lower side and after seeing the formation of a larger ADO 12 count 2 whatever we expect on the long term scenarios is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a larger ADO 12 count 3 and here on the daily chart I have a target area to the upside in the formation of that with three at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 4.6866 dollar market and that is the minimum that I'm expecting GRT to do on the long term scenarios in the formation of this with three which is an impulsive wave and because of its impulsive nature I'm also expecting to see a five wave structure in formation having the wave five completing the formation of that larger ADO 12 count 3 and I believe we are seeing such a 5 wave structure in formation on the lower time frames and jumping to the 4 hour chart for further analysis and also give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the 4 hour chart you can see that I have this ADO 12 structure in yellow where you can see that after making our lower low down there we started a very nice bounce to the upside seeing the high for that first wave to the upside and after seeing the high for that wave 1 we started a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2 before we started another massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 which gave us a peak at around the $0.2313 dollar mark and after seeing the formation of a larger ADO 12 count 3 whatever we expect next is a corrective structure in the formation of a larger ADO 12 12 count 4 which I believe has now fully maximized our red target area down here and now we are seeing a massive bounce to the upside in a move that could be the start of a larger ADO 12 count 5 to the upside and before I give you my next target areas to the upside in the formation of this wave 5 allow me to first get a little bit into details in the formation of this wave 4 by first showing you that this wave 4 has done the minimum that we expected it to do by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave 3 and that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 4 between the Fib level 0.382 and the Fib level 0.5 and that lies between the 0.1 647 dollar mark and the 0.1436 dollar mark and it is within this red target area that I was expecting to see the low for that fourth wave to the lower side and now that we have come down into that red target area we have fully maximized it and now we are seeing a bit of a bounce to the upside the next move that I'm expecting over here is a break above the 20 day MA here on the GRT chart and once that happens then that could trigger an even explosive move to the upside to get us back to the wave 3 high at around the $0.2336 mark and a break above the 20 day MA and also a break above the wave 3 high then that will be enough confirmation that whatever we are seeing over here is the bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 5 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with 5 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that with 1 then dragging the Fibs to the high of that with 3 my minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with 5 is at around the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.27 to four dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that we five to the upside to do and we also need to have in mind that once we get to the FIB level 1.618 which is just a minimum target area we can manage to break through that minimum target area continue pushing even higher and also fully maximize other target areas here on the Fibonacci so continue watching the 20 day MA here on the four hour chart a break above that could trigger an explosive move to the upside to get us back to around the 0.2336 dollar mark and once we manage to break above the 0.2 2336 dollar mark which is the wave 3 high then that would be enough confirmation that whatever we are seeing over here is an explosive move to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 where I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation because a wave 5 to the upside is a 
is an impulsive wave and because of its impulsive nature we also expect to see such a structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing the formation of that wave 5 to the upside and also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the rsi we are trading at around the 52 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support the formation of that wave 5 and also taking a look at the macd on the MACD we had been able to print a bearish crossover here and this fully supported the formation of that wave 4 which is right here and right now we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the selling momentum here on the MACD meaning soon we might be able to print that bullish cross for us to fully support the formation of that wave 5 here on the MACD so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.